I love the stability of the lens. Uh, the unique haptics make it so that it's a consistently a planar implantation. There's rarely any tilt. It centers beautifully and the aspheric nature of the lens and the forgiving nature of the lens makes it consistently centered along the uh, optical axis and I think that gives the patient a better result. We've known for some time that aspheric intraocular lenses are superior to spherical designs and we've demonstrated this by showing superior contrast sensitivity and better night driving performance and night driving simulation studies. What Rayner has done with the 970C aspheric lens is to create an intraocular lens that is spherically neutral. So there is no spherical aberration in this lens. What this does then is to give the patient the best opportunity to experience their own natural vision as it was intended to be when they were young. And it also makes the lens relatively insensitive to any kind of tilt or decentration. So it's a great combination of factors that give the Rayner lens superior optical performance. I like the C-Flex material. I like the design of the lens. I especially like there's a consistency across uh, several of the products. Uh, the haptics, uh, because they're a little bit broader, uh, support the lens in a uniplanar fashion. The material unfolds at the perfect rate. It's neither too fast nor too slow, and that is very helpful. Um, it gives me a confidence in putting the lens into the eye that I really enjoy. The 970C is really very close to my idea of an ideal monofocal lens. First of all, it's got great ease of use. Uh, the injector is a simple plunger. It delivers the lens predictably and reproducibly into the capsular bag. Uh, there's minimal manipulation needed. It's biconvex and symmetric, so even if it went in upside down, I wouldn't have to worry about having to flip it over and the lens remains beautifully centered and stable in the bag. I've seen these lenses stay crystal clear for years and years. So I think that American surgeons can really feel confident in using this lens and introducing it into their practice as a great alternative for their patients who desire a monofocal lens. The Rayner Ray Acryl material is very helpful. Because it's a hydrophilic acrylic, it gives us a new option. Uh, we're always tending to put in acrylic materials in patients that might have subsequent um, vitreoretinal retinal procedures. So it is probably one of the best materials made for uh, being in an eye that may have silicone oil uh, because of its hydrophilic acrylic nature. The material remains crystal clear. Uh, there have never been any problems with glistenings, microvacuole formation, or calcification with this lens. Uh, so it's got a great long-term stability, proven track record. I was an investigator for the C-Flex lens, which was the predecessor to the 970C, and I have patients now in my practice who've had this lens for over a decade, and they continue to see well and appreciate its performance. So it's a great material, and I encourage you to give it a try.